around for this story. This is a perfect story to run on Thanksgiving. When your child faces a disability, you do everything they can, you do everything you can to be their most powerful advocate, right? But what happens when they're more interested in being an advocate for others? When we heard the story of a young man named Brendan Spears, we knew we had to jump in and do something. Brendan has struggles. Um, you know, he, he has to work hard at at overcoming a lot of these things. Challenges he's facing is like the fire that tempers him and makes him stronger, which sounds great, but at the same time, it's no different from any parent. You just wanna, you wanna fix their problems. What's great about Brendan is, is he's willing to talk about it. He's, he doesn't shy away. He wants people to know why. How are we today? I am really, really sorry to interrupt this because frankly, everybody sounded really, really great. But my name is Matt Chambers. I'm with the Camo V Surprise Squad, and I'm looking for someone. Is there a Brendan Spear in the... There's my man. Come on up here, buddy. Oh, come on. Brendan, be honest with me. Do you have any idea what's happening right now? I'm honestly terrified. I don't know what I did wrong. <laughs> well, I don't want you to be terrified, number one. But I had a feeling you might be a little skeptical and a little suspicious. So, to make you feel better, we brought in your mom, Jessica. Who knows nothing? Oh, right, there's that. You've been very open with the kids that you go to school with yeah. that you're different in some ways than yeah. a lot of your classmates. Oh, yeah. It's probably most notable in the way you speak, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. And why is that? Why is your speech pattern different than the rest of the South Um, um Before I was born, I, I had a... a, a Stroke in my mom's wound, and I'm guessing that that is what affected it, and so I don't know that maybe. I understand that just within what the last couple of years, you were kind of bitten by the acting bug. Well, the Camel V Surprise Squad heard about that, so I want to introduce. Tally from Stages here in St. Louis. Tally, come on in. We are a professional musical theater company, and we also have an academy that teaches acting, singing, and dancing to kids of all ages. And I think you would be a perfect fit for our academy. So I would like to give you a year's worth of free acting classes. Sir, we would love to have you. Does that sound good? Um, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma <laughs> I've heard you're due for a new bicycle, yeah. but the reason you want a new bicycle is really special. Can you tell me a little bit about your Aunt Georgia? Um, she died a while ago. In the past year, his uh, aunt passed away from cancer. Brendan was very close with his aunt. His aunt uh, was very accepting. There was no, um, no limitations. She, it was just all love. And you would like to honor your Aunt Georgia, mm -hmm. who passed away from cancer complications. Mm -hmm. By using that bike as a fundraiser, yeah. right? In events you've specifically mentioned Pedal mm -hmm. the Cause, I yeah. know is something you want to do. Mm -hmm. We reached out to our friend Stuart at Maplewood Bicycle, and Stuart, he brought a little something for you today. Come on in, Stuart. <laughs> Next year, I want you to ride Pedal the Cause with our team. So you're one of our new team members. So do you have any inkling as to how KMOV and the Surprise Squad might have found out about you and your story? Apparently you have been blessed in your life with great aunts on both sides of the family. It was your Aunt Jan who told us about your story. Come on in, Jan. In all of his life he's been an amazing people person. Even when he was two and three and couldn't talk and we didn't know why, he made each person in the room feel special and I just can't say enough about his courage and the love that he shows everybody. And he's a blessing to our family. It was the least we could do to, to bring this together and make it. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> You're very welcome. All right, I get a hug too. You wait. That boy's going to be doing some, some great things. I have no doubt. 
And now it is officially a happy Thanksgiving because check it out. The entire Spear family is here. You've got Brendan and you've got mom Jessica, dad Stephen, and your little sister Adeline. Happy Thanksgiving to all of you, first of all. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, thank you. I think we embarrassed Brendan enough, so I'll talk to you in a second. But I'm going to pick on mom first. Oh, okay. Tell me a little bit about, because I'm sure you've had some reactions since that yeah. story aired. Tell me a little bit about some of them. I have had people contact me from around the country. Um, a lot of people have been following Brendan for years, so they're excited to see what's going on. And they have said it couldn't be for well as well deserved for him. I did I say that right? You did deserve that. <laughs> and also, I've had people that have worked with him as therapists when he was young. Um, I'm trying to think who else. Just It's just been an outpour of love and support. Well, and really the Surprise Squad's goal was twofold. We wanted to treat Brendan to some things he deserved, obviously. That was part of it. Mm -hmm. But part of our mission is your mission, which is to spread awareness and understanding of Brendan's condition. Because the reality is so many families are dealing with this right now and probably still don't even realize that this is what's happened, right? Right, exactly. And that is something we've taken on when we learned of his diagnosis people don't know and in newborns like brendan it's pretty common and in older children it's not as common but it's deadly because the awareness is not there so our mission is to help people not feel alone and to save lives brendan you've got a captive audience out there at home everybody's having a a nice thanksgiving morning yeah. if you could tell them one thing this morning what would you say um be thankful I mean, you can't get any better than this kid. You guys.